As the death toll in the Gaza Strip continues to climb, with many more displaced and in urgent need of humanitarian aid, the world cannot merely keep watching, said former President Halima Yaakob on Monday. Describing the current situation there as catastrophic, she said on Facebook that humanity dictates urgent intervention. Even as more than 8,000 Palestinians have been killed, of whom more than 3,000 were children, Madam Hanniman said many more continue to suffer due to restrictions levied on food, water and medicine. There is nowhere to hide. They moved south, as told, but still cannot escape the bombs and destruction. Over 1 million Palestinians have been displaced from their homes. It's really a siege from every corner. She added, aid must be urgently allowed in to end the suffering of the innocent. Following an attack by Hamas militants on October 7 that killed 1,400 people and saw more than 200 others taken hostage, Israel launched a series of retaliatory strikes, as well as imposed a blockade on the territory, which is about half the size of Singapore. Besides grappling with dwindling supplies, the population of about 2.3 million people had also been cut off from the rest of the world after a communications blackout last Friday evening that lasted about 34 hours. Citing the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development, Madam Halima said that Gaza was already in dire economic straits before the latest bout of fighting, a result of prolonged restrictions. Blockades and military operations, with the current situation perilous. Reiterating the Republic's support for a UN resolution drafted by Arab states calling for an immediate humanitarian truce as well as civilian protection. She said Singapore also supports the two-state solution, referring to a separate, independent Palestinian state existing alongside the State of Israel. Last Friday, Singapore voted in support of the non-binding resolution during an emergency special session of the UN General Assembly in New York. The resolution received 121 votes in favor, with 44 abstaining and 14 others, including Israel and the United States, voting no. Although the Republic was in favor of the resolution, Singapore's ambassador to the UN Buren Gafor had said there were two glaring and significant omissions. First, it lacked any mention of Hamas orchestration of the terror attacks. Second, it did not acknowledge Israel's legitimate right to defend its citizens and territory, he said. In her post, Madam Halima acknowledged that right, but added, International law also prohibits collectively punishing innocent civilians who are not responsible for such actions. Pity the children. My heart bleeds for them. Humanity is being severely tested in this war.